Hey, this is Carrie Perrin-Smith with Soar with Eagles. One of the questions that I get is, how do I get paid for speaking? Well, I covered in a different video how all the different elements that a business owner can use for speaking. And my biggest uh, recommendation for a business owner is to develop events as part of your business. Now, there are times when you have the opportunity to speak for money in front of other groups. There are some associations that do pay. If, uh, and it's really hard to find those, but if you're looking for a way to build your consulting business, um, that, this can be a really great tool for you by speaking. Now, you can negotiate different things with part of that speaking service that you're providing. Now, most of us are not going to be at the level where we're going to be keynoting at their convention or anything like that, but we can, we can get a lot of business off of a breakout session. Now, most people will say, um, we don't really have a budget for speakers for the breakout sessions. Well, you can ask for mileage, you can also ask for free uh, admission to the convention and all the, the meals and everything because that is valuable. As, because if you've had a chance to speak on the platform, then you can also connect with those people who maybe were in your breakout session later and have deeper conversations that are more specific to the issues that they have. So I really recommend not just showing up to speak at that one session, but to attend all the sessions that you can so that you can connect with people. Um, now, when you're talking about money and you have that opportunity, you fall in front of that person that does occasionally have a budget, then you just ask for your fee. It really is that simple to say, I charge for a 45 minute keynote or a one hour breakout session, $2,000. $1,750, $1,000, $500, whatever that is based on um, what your value is. Now, what you do after that is just stop. Don't say anything and wait for what it is that they're going to respond with. Now, they may say, you know, we really don't have that in our budget. Then you, then you go back and ask, well, what do you have? You know, and then you kind of find out what their budget really is, and then you can go back and forth a little bit. But if you don't come in up front and say, this is my fee, or in the, in the case of a convention, you know, this is my fee for, you know, professional associations or for charities or whatever type group this is, be very, very structured about what you normally get whether or not you normally get that, but this is what ideally normally you get to do that kind of event, you don't give them any starting point. Now you can always, you know, go, what do you normally, what are you paying your other speakers or what do you normally budget for this and go from that. But I think it's much easier when you establish your value up front. Now there's going to be some cases where they are not going to have your fee at all. One of the things you can ask is, would it be okay if I got a sponsor for this? Or perhaps you have a sponsorship level that would pay for my fee or pay for your speakers. And I think a lot of conferences and professional associations don't really think about that that much, but definitely having a sponsor to pay for your fee is a great way to make sure you get paid for the hard work you do. And really the a potential sponsor for that organization is someone who is able to, or for a company that is able to benefit from being represented by you in front of their audience. So um, a organization where you are speaking to HR professionals, say for instance, and you have a sponsor that provides drug screening to pay for your fee, what you're doing is you're representing that person. They may get some sponsorship benefits, which usually are not anything that costs anything that you can ask for from the organization to give them more and more exposure to the audience. Um, and you could talk about them a little bit and how their product you know, is, is useful to you and the other clients that you work with as you're speaking during your presentation. 
So anyway, that sort of gives you some ideas of how you can get paid, how to ask for your fee, and to really consider that sponsorship model as well. I think you'll find that very, very beneficial. Again, this is Carrie Smith of Soar with Eagles. You can follow me on Twitter at Soar with Eagles. Um, and you can find me on Facebook as well. So hope you have a good day and hopefully that, hopefully that was helpful to you.